ancient land of India has been blessed with a rich history. God is believed to have incarnated several times and walked on this very land. Several saints have been born to revive the ideals and values. They have striven to revitalize the religious beliefs and ultimately to reopen the blocked paths. They have come to this world to help humanity, to live with peace of mind and to shoulder the responsibilities of the world with ease. Calcutta, early 19th century. The ancient land of India is struggling under the yoke of British rule. The people have accepted their lot and live with age-old superstitions and backwardness. Casteism is written and practiced with vengeance. This age-old custom of classification has become a curse on the people of India. The oppression of the rulers has become unbearable. India, fabled all over the world as a rich and spiritual land, is now struggling to feed her people. The daily grind of the masses is becoming too much to bear. This is Durga Charan Datta. He became a sannyasi at the age of 25. Respected by everybody, for his knowledge and wisdom. After the demise of Durga Charan Datta, his son Vishwanath Datta expressed his intention to study and become a successful man. Young Vishwanath decided at a young age to study hard and become a barrister. His determination to succeed and the blessings of his mother enabled him to achieve his goal. Vishwanath Datta soon became a reputed lawyer. His wife Bhuvaneshwari Devi was loving and devoted by nature. Datta was also a great scholar and respected all the religions. Vishwanath was also an expert in Persian language and could quote Hafiz's verses effortlessly. Bhuvaneshwari Devi and Vishwanath have a graceful daughter. But Devi is sad that she does not have a son. Yes, ma. Is there something that you need? Yes, Bhuvaneshwari Devi. I want to see a smile on your sweet face, to see you happy. I, I am happy now. I can see. I can see that you are troubled. What is it? Tell me, dear. Ma, I am worried that I cannot bear any more children. What if I cannot bear a son? Who will carry the name of our family? A son to continue our illustrious family? Do not worry. Let us go and pray to Lord Shiva at Varanasi. Lord Vireshwara will not let us down. a son, a son who will be known all over the world. Lord, do grant our wish. Let our family name continue. May the Lord grant your heart's desire. Go in peace. Lord Vireshwara Shiva granted their wish and soon Bhuvaneshwari Devi was expecting. Vishwanath Datta was overjoyed. My dear wife, I am very pleased. It is Lord Shiva's blessing and your mother's loving support. My support is always with you, children. Now, every day I will read stories of Krishna from the Bhagavata 
to the child growing inside you yes and the stories of lord rama from the ramayana the mahabharata tales will instill a sense of dharma let us read that too the stories of lord krishna from the bhagavata were recited in front of the expecting bhuvaneshwari devi by the beloved ma bhuvaneshwari devi herself would read from the ramayana and mahabharata and time rolled on Swami Vivekananda was one of the saptarishis who belonged to a very high spiritual plane. He was brought down to this earth by Bhagwan Sri Ramakrishna to assist him in his world mission. Vishwanath Vishwanath come soon you have a son lord shiva has blessed you with a son oh the lord is great indeed how is bhuvaneshwari devi is the child healthy oh yes they are both doing fine come come and see your son Narendra your name shall be Narendra Nath Dutta Narendra the king of mankind may your fame spread far and wide may you live forever on the auspicious day of Makara Sankranti the 12th of January 1863 a Monday Bhuvaneshwari Devi gave birth to a son the entire household was overjoyed the old mother wept with joy Vishwanath Dutta was so happy. He gave gifts to all his servants. The Lord has blessed me, but He has sent one of His Bhutaganas. <laughs> This child is no Bhutagana, dear. He is restless because he is in a hurry to grow up, to change this world. He is a man in a hurry. The child was indeed restless, never keeping still, always demanding attention. He had a leonine build with bright intelligent eyes. His poor mother had to hire two servants just to keep up with his activities. The infant son soon grew up and began to exhibit extraordinary abilities. What is father doing? He is praying to Lord Shiva. Who is Lord Shiva? Where is he? Lord Shiva is the master of the universe. He is everywhere. He is in everybody.
What are you doing? Meditating and praying. Really? How do you know what to do? I am Shiva. I know how to do this. Narendra Dutta continued to amaze his parents and friends with his extraordinary attitudes. One day, the seven-year-old Narendra Nath and his friends were playing a game. Let's play a new game. Yes, I will be the emperor. You be my minister. He is a soldier. You will run up to me and shout that the enemy army has attacked our kingdom. The enemy army has attacked. The enemy army has attacked. There is no need for panic. We will safeguard our motherland. It's our duty and we will not fail. Trust in Lord. Truth shall always win. Are you ready to go to school? Yes, Ma. I am ready. Son, you must be a good student. Study hard and learn all the lessons. The Metropolitan Institute was founded by the great Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar. It is a very good school. Yes, Nareen. We are sending you to this school so that you will become learned and wise. Thank you, Mother. I will study well, Father. I will not be naughty. I promise. <laughs> we know that, Nareen. But do remember that education and school do not mean that you give up sports and physical activity. You must study and play. Yes, you must maintain a healthy balance. Play with your friends, be healthy and then study hard. Do you understand, Narain? Yes, Mother. I love playing football. Join the school team and play hard, Narain. Now remember these words. Shraddha hi paramagati hi. It means... To be dedicated is the highest ideal. Whatever you do, maintain the highest dedication. That will bring you great goodwill. I will do my best, Father. Now, take your grandma's blessings and go to school. Narendranath was a very intelligent boy. He could grasp the lessons quickly and analyze the points very well. Narain took his parents' advice seriously and became a member of the football team. He was a very popular member of the team. Good morning. Sit down. We shall start with the geography class today. Open your books. Now, look at this map. Can you tell me which is east? Can you point out the four different directions? East, west, north and south. Yes. Go on. Can you do it, Satyajit? No. Now who can show me? Yes, Samir. Can you point the directions? No. Come on, boys. Give me an answer. Sir, 
Can I answer the question? Yes, Narendranath. Go on. East, West, North and South. Yes, that is correct. Now tell me, which is the capital of United States of America? Sir, the answer is Washington DC. Are you sure, Narendranath? I do not think that is correct. No, sir. I am sure that is the correct answer. Do not be so impudent with me, boy. Now, kneel down. That is your punishment for being so cheeky. No, sir. My answer is correct. I am sure what I said is true. I have committed no error. Why should I kneel down? How dare you talk to me in that tone? This is too much. I will not tolerate such indiscipline. Cry, Nareen. There, it will be all right soon. The teacher punished me unnecessarily, mother. I gave the correct answer. You may be correct, son, but your teacher may have been angry with your attitude. Son, several times what you say may be correct and true, but the way you say it is just as important. Now remember this: always follow the truth, no matter what, but ensure that what you say does not insult, offend. or hurt anyone your attitude must not become abrasive or over confident do you understand narin yes mother yes i understand clearly Narendranath I am very sorry The answer you gave yesterday was correct In my ignorance I punished you Please forgive me Please sir you are my teacher my guru please do not embarrass me by saying sorry It's your right to punish me sir Only when you are wrong my child Narendranath soon became a very well known boy in school studies as well as in sports He became the best student. His parents' timely advice and his teachers' guidance helped to mold a strong personality. You aren't you Narendranath? Yes, I am, sir. What are you up to? Why are you standing in that corner? He is dropping on your elders? No, sir. I was listening to the verses. I really like them. That is for grown-ups. Go away from here. Help your siblings serve food. Not even my father insults me like this, sir. Look, there are many like you who think age and intelligence are synonymous, but that is certainly not so. Sorry, son. You are correct. I'm sorry. It's all right, sir. I shall take your leave. He is so confident, really, and so courteous. Hmm. Yes. I am reminded of the mythical character Nachiketa from the Upanishads. He always said, "I may be the best, or at least better than many, but I am never the worst." Narendranath was a very good storyteller. His words were as magnetic as his personality. The boys would often pester him to tell a story. <laughs> What happened? What is it? Yes, correct. Yes. Satyajit, stand up. What was I teaching? The pain. Silly boys, I am teaching you something very important, but you are all engrossed in Narain's story. Narain, stand up. What were you telling them? Why were you not listening to my lessons? Sir, you were teaching us about Newton's principles. There are three principles, and they are the laws which guide momentum, gravity, 
एंड एनर्जी नरेन दिस इज रियली अमेजिंग आई सॉ विथ माई ओन आईज यू आर एनग्रॉस इन स्टोरी टेलिंग हाउ कुड यू हैव हर्ड माई लेसन सो एक्यूरेटली I can concentrate on several things simultaneously sir Sit down do not disturb the others No sir I shall stand up with the others as punishment it was I who was talking son you saved our lives thank you very much you don't have to thank me i was just doing my duty what a son you have got madam he will make your family proud nare i am proud of you yes the trapeze pole should be erected here yes that's the ideal position Erect the pole here. Oh, my head! Help! Oh my god! Help! Get the doctor. Don't worry sir, I will help you. Come on everybody help me lift the soldier come on You are lucky soldier this young boy saved you from a serious injury the loss of blood could have been fatal do remember to thank him well done narendra nath you have shown tremendous presence of mind at such a young age to see such calm clear and rational thinking is truly amazing Thank you Dr Uncle I really did not do anything special my friends helped me to bring him here my father called you i was just at the right place at the right time hmm yes right place right time and more importantly the right person young narendranath immersed himself in the pursuit of knowledge he studied the great philosophical teachings of hume Herbert Spencer, Descartes, Fish, Mill, Locke, Plato, Spinoza and a host of others. He would study thoroughly and then ask his father for more explanations. His teachers would also try and explain the various abstract concepts. They were surprised that a boy of such young age was so immersed in philosophical concepts. Yes son do you want something Father I wish to join the Brahmo Samaj may I do so That is a very serious thought are you willing to adhere to all their strictures Yes father I will <laughs> That is very good Narin I am very proud of you Narendranath joined college in 1880 Maths was his favorite subject. He studied Bengali literature, logic and psychology. He was very passionate about history and studied India's history 
in depth. Shakespeare, Wordsworth and Byron were his favorite English authors. He was excellent in football, cricket and stick play. His teachers, classmates and friends admired and respected him. Naren, it is late. Please sleep. No, ma. A question is troubling me. I cannot sleep till I find an answer. What is it, son? Where is God? Have you seen him? What? How can you find an answer to that question? Mother, I have to find an answer. Have you seen God? No, son. And I do not know anyone who claims to have seen him. Father, I have a question to ask. Go ahead, son. Have you seen God? Where is he? How can I see him? Naren, there are no answers to those questions. Son, you will have to find a wise guru to answer them. I am unable to do so. I will find my guru. Yes, I will. The principal of the college, W. W. Hasty, addressed the students and explained the excursion by Wordsworth. He spoke of Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, the great spiritual teacher at Dakshineshwar. The principal spoke highly about the Guru. Young Narain absorbed every word. He wanted to meet Sri Ramakrishna and find out the answers to his questions. Narain? Yes, father. What is it? We wanted to ask you about... Uh... Son, we are growing old and you are in college. So, have you thought of marriage? Yes, mother. I have thought about marriage. Good son. We have received a very good proposal for you. Father, please wait. I said I have thought about marriage and I have decided that I will not marry. But son, why? Nareen, do not be hasty. Renunciation is the path to God. By acquiring material wealth, I will be moving away from my path. Please, do not force me away from my goal. Father, I have thought about my decision for a long time. My refusal to marry does not stem from a hasty or unclear thought. I am very definite and clear. For a long time, I have been trying to solve the basic conflict between Western logical thought and the Eastern experience of elevation of mind and the joy of the experience. Your Guru, Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. But how do you know that he will accept you as a disciple? How do you know he has the answers to your questions? I have to meet him. He can help me. Please allow me to go, mother. The ideals of Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa made such a deep impact on Narain that soon after graduation, he left his home for the spiritual quest of his guru. On November 1881, Narendranath reached the ashram in Dakshineshwar. Ever since, under the guidance of Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa and Mata Sri Sharada Devi, he gave his heart and soul wholly towards the pursuit of truth and God.